Hi y'all, this is so so blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? Blessed Sunday or Monday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. Anyways, y'all earlier today, I went up the road to run an errand. And I didn't take my purse or my wallet because I figured I was just coming right back and I didn't need anything. Well, while I was up the road, I thought about I'd want some um, bread, a loaf of bread. So I'm looking all through my ashtray and my glove compartment and all of that, trying to see if I can scrounge up my cup holder, see if I can scrounge up some money. So I scrounged up a dollar, then a dollar forty, then a dollar fifty, and that's the most I could could find those dollar fifty. So I said, okay, surely this is enough because I remember bread only costs about a dollar twenty nine, a dollar thirty nine. So with tax I'm good. I walk into the store and I go over to the bread and bread is two fifty nine. I'm looking like, oh my God, when did bread get to be two fifty nine? Now mind you this was one of my favorite breads, Marita bread. But I don't know if I had a flat a flashback or what was I thinking? When was the last time bread was a dollar twenty nine, a dollar thirty nine? So needless to say, I didn't have enough money to purchase a loaf of bread. So I walked around the store to pretend like I was looking for something else because the clerk was looking at me and she saw me go bend down and look at the bread. And I didn't want her to know that I didn't have enough money to afford a loaf of bread. So I pretended like, you know, oh, maybe I'll get, you know, a Yoo-Hoo. No, maybe I'll get a Mountain Dew. No, maybe I'll get some chips. I know, maybe I'll get out of here. <laughs> so I just held my head up and walked right past the clerk. I didn't look at her because I saw her looking at me like, you know, puzzled, like, you know, why did I just walk in, walk over to the bread, and walk back out, but I got out of the store. Y'all, I did not even have enough money to get a loaf of bread. <laughs> well, that's because I didn't have my wallet, but y'all, but it's still a sign of the time, because I used to keep 20 and $30 in my ashtray, or in my glove compartment. Now, I could barely scrounge up enough money for a loaf. Not barely. I couldn't scrounge up enough money for a loaf of bread. Lord, have mercy on us. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with y'all. Because I've been thinking about y'all. I'm praying for y'all. And um, that's my story. <laughs> Anyways, okay, back to y'all. Yep, I was just looking at myself. My big old grin, big old teeth. Y'all know I'm cute. <sighs> Anywho. Okay, wait, you know what? This is a whole nother story. This, When I said y'all know I'm cute, that's a segue into another story that I hadn't even planned on telling. But, I don't say y'all know I'm cute in a conceited way at all because I was one that never, ever, ever thought I was uh, cute or pretty. Now, no, I didn't have low self-esteem at all. I was just what I consider a realist. I had real self-esteem. I know that I was beautiful without having to be cute or pretty. You know what I mean? Anyways. But I never thought myself cute or pretty. And people would always tell, well, not always, as I got became an adult. And about after age about 20, 25, people would tell me, and especially guys, you know, would tell me that I'm beautiful, that I'm pretty, and I just never could see what they saw. You know, I just thought, I'm, you know, I'm average looking, I'm okay, and I'm, and I'm okay with that. Hey, because I know I'm beautiful, and I'm okay with just average. But... It was not until YouTube. Now y'all tell me if this has happened to anybody. It was not until YouTube. Until I actually saw myself on camera, on video. And now I see me as the world views me. 
Now I see me as family and friends and loved ones and co-workers and acquaintances. I see myself as they see me as far as physically and I see my personality shine through. So although I always considered myself as an average look, I never knew the beauty of my soul was shining through. And people would always, especially men, would always tell me about my beautiful smile. And I could not see it, you guys. I couldn't see it. Because all I see are spaces in my teeth, uh, my mouth protrudes. Let me give you a profile. All I could see was that my gums are so big and pink and all of that and my smile so big that sometimes it reminds me of a clown and that's all I could see and like I say not to put myself down I saw all that and hey it didn't bother me because I still felt I was beautiful but I felt I was beautiful because I of uh, just being a beautiful person I didn't feel I was beautiful because of physical but now when I see my smile I say damn I got a beautiful smile but it was not until YouTube until I saw that now I know I run the risk of sounding conceited and I hope that I don't come across as sounding conceited because that is furthest from what I am but I'm being real that this is the first time that I see how beautiful my eyes are. This is the first time that I see and embrace my beautiful big smile. This is the first time that I see my personality coming through this smile, coming through these eyes, that I see my heart coming across and I now see over I would say the last year of YouTubing I now see what you all have been seeing my entire adult life now again I hope that doesn't sound conceited but I'm just being real and sharing with you all my soul I hope that helps somebody has anyone started YouTubing and start and started to perceive themselves differently from what they thought they were or what they thought they looked like or what they thought they projected? I'm just curious. Maybe it's just me. Anyways, that was real personal to me because like I say, you know, you run the risk of people misunderstanding and misinterpreting what you're saying. But hey, this is the blessed place. And that's just how I was feeling. And that's just what I wanted to share with y'all. Y'all be blessed and welcome to the blessed place.